record. And I think we just wanted to real quickly, you guys, go over the rest of the month. It's the 19th. And I personally started a um, challenge group prep for this week. Um, it was supposed to start today. However, I didn't get anybody until this week. So I started on the 19th, which I do quite often, to be honest. Um, but we do have another challenge group starting on the 3rd, whether it's going to be a prep week or the actual start date of the challenge group on the 3rd. Um, you guys are more than welcome if you guys want to run a challenge group together or if you know, you have one person, I have one, and someone else has two. Running the challenge group together may be a good idea just because I want to make sure that we all get to our success club goals for the month. And so having another challenge group on the third, I think, will help. And just don't let off the gas of just, you know, um, promoting yourself on social media as trying to get health and fit and, you know, doing, you know, doing your, doing your, doing your different and reaching out, doing your small little power half hours or power hours that you do. So I would just stick with that. Um, next week, Tuesday the 27th, we're doing a, I don't know if we're doing a happy hour, like a two hour event or a one day event. Deanna and I will kind of figure that out to see what worked last month and kind of see what you guys think. But um, if you can be a part of that, either just hopping on or if you want to start adding people to that or asking people if they want to be a part of this team, then the 27th will be the event that they will attend. And then a um, few things that we have going on this week, we just started today a uh, Dash to Diamond group. So there's two weeks of kind of just pushing yourself, your business forward to Diamond. And then the following week on the third, we're going to start another Push to Emerald group. So if you're currently in the Push to Emerald group, we'll be checking in with you guys over the next two weeks. And then um, if you want to be in it on the third, let us know. So I think that's the rest of the month. And then next month, you guys, is October. And I believe I will be starting, I don't know about Deanna, but we haven't really gone over the marketing schedule, but like thinking about your free group, like what kind of free group do you want to run next month? For me, I think a crock pot group would be awesome. I feel like everybody in the beach body world did a crock pot group in the month of September. So I want to do one in October <laughs> to change things up a little bit. Um, but it can be anything. It can be abs and arms challenge. It can be a squat challenge. It can be a plank challenge, um, a recipe swap. I don't even know, pumpkin everything challenge. So um, I think on the 26th or just in the next few weeks, we'll do a call on how to run effective um, free groups because I think free groups really do give you a lot of momentum, new customers, people who just want to be in a free group or just want to be in a group for like five days. And it gives them a good sneak peek of what our challenge groups are like and how we run them. So Deanna, do you want to add anything to my spiel? Uh, <laughs> um, um, oh, I'm getting, I can okay. hear myself talking. I'm talking. I hate that. Um, um, no, no, I, I think I'm gonna try to do my little bit first week of October. October. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, the but ideas you had, I think I'm gonna do pop too. too. I started doing a few started recipes, a few so recipes. I have something. I have something. Cool. Awesome. Well, I think other than that, I get my little notes out because I took notes. There was just a few things. Deanna and I got on the call a little bit earlier. And we were talking about kind of like team culture because in the last, since Summit, Deanna and I, like, we kind of had this like light bulb effect listening to a few of the leaders in the Beachbody organization. And they were like, we, we did fine by ourselves and building our team. But once we combined our teams together and kind of joined forces and grabbed more energy from each other that's when things kind of built up and our businesses started to grow and so ever since summit we were like man we've got the same goals we want to do the same things with in the next few years like why not partner up so that's why we created the team fit and thrive and we were kind of talking a little bit earlier about just like the team culture and we both really feel that our team you guys 
we're all full of people who want to connect with other people and we're not cold inviters and we're not people, we're not salesy and we genuinely really like to create relationships. So we thought it would be really cool over the next few months to do more um, Monday night team calls instead of just hopping on the dream team call. I just feel like it will kind of reconnect us all and kind of get, you know, Deanna's team can get to know my team and vice versa. I mean, kind of build relationships off of that. Cause I don't know about you guys, but my best and most favorite relationships over the last two years that I've personally built have been within Beachbody. And we have an amazing community next year at summit. Like we're going to have a giant house full of awesome people. And I just want to make sure that we're all going into summit next year like best friends because that's how we should roll. And I know we're very similar. We like health. We like fitness. We want to help people. And why not do that together each and every week with team calls? So I think one um, Monday out of, the, out of the month, we're going to do a dream team call. And then the other three Mondays, we'll do like these calls. We'll just hop on. We'll hang out. So that was kind of our thought process. And then we we're like thinking about our vision. Like, where do we want this team to go? What do, you know, what do we as individual coaches, like where do we want to individually see our businesses grow? So a few questions that can, that you can kind of think about and toy with in your mind is what gives you passion about this business? Is it the financial aspect? Is it, you know, wanting to help people? Is it wanting to, you know, help yourself by running challenge groups? Is it um, the community? So thinking about why you show up for Beachbody each and every day, money aside, rank aside, like why do you come here and post on social media and come to these um, team calls? Like why do you do it? What is the passion behind your business? And once you start thinking about that passion, it can kind of snowball effect into what you do each and every day for Beachbody. So kind of think about the reason why you're a coach. Like why do you show up every single day and let that kind of drive your daily actions. If you're someone who really genuinely wants to build and create different relationships within this team, within this organization, maybe you don't focus as much on rank and put pressure on, um, you know, financial aspects. Maybe you put more um, emphasis on building relationships and coming into the team page and being interactive and liking and commenting and encouraging people and running kick-ass challenge groups like that could be your gig but if your passion is wanting to quit your job and wanting to go full force into this business you kind of have to think about the small things and the big things that you need to do every single day to kind of get you there and I feel like we have so many different people on our team with different goals and different passions and why they're, why they show up every single day. And I think if we all join forces and motivate and encourage each other to just follow those passions, we're going to have such a kick-ass team and we do have a kick-ass team, but I want to just make sure that we're like all best friends by summit. That's kind of like my goal. <laughs> Love it. Right, you, like, we, like we were talking about earlier, it's crazy. Like, when you start connecting with your team and you're on team calls and, and like you said, participating in the team page, when you see people at Summit, like for me, when I met these guys like a little over a year ago now, not that I, I mean, Kendra and I went to high school together, but we weren't really friends and then we never talked for like however many years. I don't even know. <laughs> um, and we really all just became best friends. Like I couldn't wait for team calls. And when we saw each other, like I met, I met like Jill in Pittsburgh and I remember just meeting her and like it was just like hey like it was not this awkward like oh god like how do we talk in real life it was just like you got in the car and I was like oh your dog hair is everywhere because <laughs> so you know her dog hair is everywhere and it was just like we saw each other yesterday and now when we hop on calls it's just like there's not this like intro period it's just like our friendship and our conversations just continue and that's what we want for our team like as as leaders emerge and as our team grows, like kind of keeping that community and just people like knowing each other and forming friendships and finding success partners and doing things together and collaborating is our goal. Like Kendra and I are collaborating. We want a team that collaborates and works together for, for the community. Totally. I love it. 
Absolutely love it. So with that said, in the next few weeks, you guys, on a Saturday, whether it's this weekend or the following weekend, I think we're into the following weekend, but I haven't like. I think so too. Anybody besides Vienna. <laughs> we can do it. We'll put a poll on the page. Yeah. We are going to do like a virtual hangout session where we eat food and we drink wine or we drink tea and we could do like vision boards and stuff. Cause I'm a dork and I love a vision board. I'm not. Even I love, no, I love it. <laughs> I, I will spend like, I spent so much freaking money. You don't need to spend money, but I did. I went to <laughs> borders and I bought so many magazines. It was, I could have bought like five books anyway. I'm a dork. I love it. So yeah, it'll be so fun. fun. I think it'd be really fun. Yeah. I want to do vision boards. Like, you know, if you guys are following Carrie, our upland coach, she just went to a retreat with Melanie and she hopped on, um, Carrie's page. Cause she's going to be in Arizona next month. And a few of us are going to go and hang out with Melanie, which I'm like so excited about. Oh my God. I'm like really excited. I know. It's like a celebrity moment. Yeah, she was like my giddy schoolgirl. I remember at Summit, like, touching her and be like, oh, my God. Melanie. I know. Like, there she is. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I, was today, I was like, what am I going to say to her? Like, do I talk to her about, like, her past and where she went to high school and stuff? Anyhow. Different <laughs> 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 subject. But, um, yeah, doing those type of, like, team building calls, I think it would be really fun. And – just always making sure that we're present with each other and you guys are in this team. Like we're all really good friends and I just want to make sure that we become that team that people want to be a part of because people really do join this business for the community. And yes, there's financial, yes, there's goals and whatnot, but we really like look forward to these trips like summit and the success club trip and the retreats. If you rank advance, like, all those trips are why we are beach body coaches for a lot of reasons. Because I mean, for me personally, and I know Deanna kind of feels the same. I mean, she already has kids and she has a family and she wants to be able to be present, but she also wants to have like her successful entrepreneurial life. And for me, when I have kids and you know, I'm a stay at home mom, like I want to be able to support them. I don't want to have to go to work. And I know that sounds like very premature because I'm not pregnant, but still like you can plan for these things and having the community, having an outlet to still bring an income and still have like my mom time, I think is really important to me. So anyhow, longer story medium, we all have passions with this business. Think about that and let it kind of roll out what you do each and every day. If you want to, like I said, be a business builder coach, 10 X everything that you're doing really go pedal to the metal, but always think about your passion. If you guys listened to the national wake up call this morning, it was amazing. This woman, I can't remember her name. What is her name? It slipped my mind. Uh, um, oh my gosh. McAllister. Melissa McAllister. There we go. We got the McAllister. <laughs> She was like our itinerary in um, Summit. I love it. She was talking about how she, she doesn't recruit a lot of people each month. And she doesn't have this, this business where she recruits 100 coaches. She recruits maybe like 6 to 10 coaches a month. But she invests so much of her time getting to know her coaches and becoming their best freaking friend that she is just so successful. She always looks at why she loves this business. She loves it because she loves the connections and she loves fitness. Like that's her thing is fitness. She became an instructor. She worked with Shalene. She really just took the fitness end of it. If you like nutrition, take the nutrition end of it and just run with it. So always think about the reason why you like challenge groups or why you like um, 80, 20 living or fitness or whatever. Always just kind of think of those things. Um, I think that was kind of it on my end. Yeah, I think so too. Um, we were talking about how we were going to do, um, no, you said that. No, I think we said everything that we wanted to talk about, but I just, um, to reiterate like the community aspect, you know, if, if you guys come up with good tips or anything that you think is helpful for power hours or saves you time, like everybody and anybody should be posting in the team page asking any questions, like anything so that we can all support each other in um, that aspect. Yeah. And it really does make a lot of a difference when you're 
when you're um, going to events and you're going to super Saturdays and you're showing up mm-hmm. on the team calls and showing up to um, work on your business each and every day, but always just kind of be present with beach body because if not, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. You don't, yes. you know, eventually you can, you can create this habit of not doing your personal development or not showing up to team calls or not this and that. But if you're always every single day doing the things that are offered and the things that will move your business forward, you can kind of always just be in the present moment with this business. And this business is pretty, it's pretty kick-ass, you guys. Like Mm -hmm. we get to help people each and every day and we get to make some money on the side, which is great. But most importantly, we help people and we build a community of women who are positive and uplifting. If I could be on a call like this every single day, I would. And we do have opportunities. You know, we have the Monday night calls. We have calls. we have rank advancement calls and we have the power hour calls. Like mm-hmm. we have the power hour calls six days a week for your, for all of us to perfect our power hour and to kind of be in that community, be in that sense of beach body every single day. This way it's always on our mind. Like I think about beach body 98% of my day, you guys. And it's been like this since day one. That's how I know I'm in the right spot in my life when it comes to a career. I have another job and it's fine. But when you're, when you think about something, think about a passion of yours, like you need to be there. Like it's never going to go away. You're always going to think about it. And it's just, it's always on my mind. I'm always thinking about new ways. And I know all of you guys do the same thing. So if we can like just do it, you know? (laughs) Yeah, totally agree. And it. events too. When you were saying about events, is that this company is so good about their timing of events? It's mm-hmm. kind of ridiculous because they do them every quarter, and then it's just like right when you need that extra like surge. Like going to events is so much fun. Like you never know. Well, you do like ahead of time, but like the live workouts or like we get to see Melanie in Arizona. Um, and just like to hear stories and it's just game changers. Like you get to not only hear from like top people in the organization and they tell their stories, but you get to have the workouts. You get to meet up with any coaches or, or challengers that you might have in the area that want to come with you for the workouts. Mm -hmm. Um, but you also just get like re-energized and it's just, so I love events. I think they're great. I always take away some great stuff and you hear great stories too, not just business, but people's weight loss stories are amazing and celebrating rank advancements and and things like that. It just like recharges you and like you leave there with like this extra oomph in your step, like ready to rock. And so it's a really good refueling time. Yeah, totally. Anyhow, you guys are awesome. Kristen, what are you wearing on your face? What? I want to see. Are you wearing goggles? She's cutting onions, isn't she? I'm cutting onions. There we go. <laughs> Deanna, you were talking. I'm like, is she wearing a mask? <laughs> I didn't even see. <laughs> so you just had to put her bottle on her There we go. Oh, I'm snapshotting <laughs> that. Screenshot. <laughs> if you want to do it, you can screenshot me. Okay, hold on. So One, still. two. <laughs> okay, talk, <laughs> Kristen. Oh, hi. Oh, what's going on? The Kristen. Okay. Oh, I need to get the Kristen. Hold on. Uh, so it's okay, like Kristen, guys. show us one more time. Oh, oh hold on. Yeah. Here, start talking. Hey, what's going on? Hey, oh. It's the Kristen. <laughs> so Tiffany's so going to her full summit style. next year, and I cannot wait for you to see the Kristen. <laughs> it is like the and it's like the she just brings so much like summit energy like right when she gets there she's like all right guys we're doing this and the whole time she's just pumped and she just pumps everybody up i love it <laughs> it's so funny because i need to like bottle my own energy for like a day-to-day basis <laughs> i don't know what you do girl but i agree okay. that. i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have anything you want to talk about? I know, Tiffany, you're packing and you're, I mean, it's pretty late over there. It's 930. So we'll hop off in like five minutes. But do you guys have any questions on anything related to Beachbody or non-related, like, I don't know, conversations or groups or anything? Are you guys good? 
I got an extra position at work. You got a what? <laughs> I'm working extra hours at the restaurant. I picked up like an extra position. Yeah. So we cut back on our hours. Oh. No way. So we're closed for lunches now, but I think it's been losing business. So I told the manager one day, I was like, yeah, I think this is losing us business. Or like a couple of us were talking. And he was like, yeah, that might be. I was like, if you want someone to come in Monday through Friday and just answer your phone, like, let me know. So I'm going to get paid for that and I can work beach body while I'm there as well. That's so, awesome. Um, That's so he cool. Likes as well. <laughs> your goggles. <laughs> I can't get them. Like them? Aren't they so fashionable? I don't even own goggles. I bought them purely because these onions drive me fucking bad shit. <laughs> <laughs> onions don't bother me. Do you have contact? Yeah. Um, That's why. Yeah, they hurt mine, but. Well, update on my end, you guys. I got Invisalign, and I cannot stop with the lisp. Like, it's so bad. If you guys how long, it, how long does it take to, like, get used to it? They said that it takes two days for you to stop lisping, but I just cannot. <laughs> and I teach indoor spin, and it's called – the studio's called Star Cycle. So I was like, let's go Star Cycle. <laughs> so bad. Oh my god, so embarrassing. But it's anyway. still hurting. A little annoying, but I get new trays like not this Thursday, but the following one. So that's when it really hurts because they're gonna put like buttons on. So I have like braces. braces. Hmm. Ow. Mm -hmm. How long is like the whole treatment time supposed to be? Uh, or does it depend? It depends on how jacked your teeth are. Mine are pretty, like they said, maybe um, 14 months, so like a year and two months. It's not bad. No, it's not bad. It isn't. Tiffany, do you have brace braces? 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 <laughs> um, I did back in middle school, but um, I just, I don't know. You have nice teeth. Thanks. <laughs> How are you, Deanna? And Kristen. Mm -hmm. I'm in middle school, too. My teeth are messed up. Huh? Kristen, did you have braces? Uh, I did in high school, and then I was supposed to wear my retainer after I got them off, and I didn't, so my teeth are fucked up again. Ooh. <laughs> but my that's... teeth are still shifting. Like, my yeah. teeth are still shifting to this day, so mm. I'm pretty positive it's just because my wisdom teeth are compacted that they're still just pushing. Oh, oh. I did mine out. Yeah, mine are Oh. oh. Hmm. All right, well. I, we'll hop off you guys because I know you guys are tired over there. Have fun in Vegas. Oh, have fun in Vegas. Post a lot of pictures. Ah, yeah. I will. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for hopping on. We'll talk later. Um, if you guys think of anything that you want to chat about, just reach out to us and let us know. Woo All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Guys. bye. bye.